on YouTube and Facebook. Belzoni began to excavate in the Bibin al Maluk, i.e., the Valley of the Tombs of the Kings on the western bank of the Nile of Thebes, and in the bed of a watercourse he found a spot where the ground bore traces of having been moved. On the 19th of the month, his workmen made a, a way through the sand and fragments of stone which had been piled up there and entered the first corridor or passage of the magnificent tomb, which he soon discovered to have been made for one of the great kings of Egypt. The second corridor led him to a square chamber which, being 30 feet deep, formed a serious obstacle in the way of any unauthorized intruder and served to catch any rainwater which might have, might make its way down the corridors from the entrance. Beyond this chamber are two halls, and from the first of these, Ozoni passed through other corridors and rooms until he entered the vaulted chamber in which stood the sarcophagus. The, sarcoph the sarcophagus chamber is situated at a distance of 300 feet from the entrance to the first corridor and is 80 feet below the level of the ground. Belzoni succeeded in bringing the sarcophagus from its chamber into the light of day without injury and in due course it arrived in England. The negotiations which he opened with the trustees of the British Museum to whom it purchased its purchase uh, site first proposed fell through and he subsequently sold it to Sir John Sowen. It placed said, him on record in his narrative of 2,000 euros, I'm guessing, or whatever the price is of the operations in recent looking uh, symbol. An examination of the sarcophagus shows that both it and its cover were hollowed out by monolithic blocks of alabaster. And it is probable, as Mr. Sharp says, that these were quarried in the mountains near Alabastronopolis i.e. the district which was known to the Egyptians by the name of het -nub, nub and is situated near the ruins known in modern times by the name of Tel El Amarna. In the yet nub quarries large numbers of inscriptions written chiefly in the Horatic character Hieratic character have been found, and from the interesting selection from these published by Messer Blackburn and Fraser, we learn that several kings of the ancient and middle empires carried on works in them, no doubt for the purpose of obtaining alabaster for funeral. Sarcophagus is nine foot four inches long, three foot eight inches wide, and the widest part and two foot eight inches high at the shoulders, and two foot three inches at the feet and cover. The cover is one foot three inches high. The thickness of the alabaster varies. One to four inches. The 
without breaking or even cracking them is marvelous, and the remains of poles nearly one inch in diameter suggest that the drill was as useful to him as the chisel and mallet in hollowing out the blocks when the sarcophagus and its cover were finally shaped and polished they were handled over they were handed over to an artisan who was skilled in cutting hieroglyphics and figures of the gods in, uh, in stone and both the insides and outsides were covered by him with inscriptions and vignettes and mythological scones which illustrated them. Both inscriptions and scenes were then filled in with a kind of paint made from some pre preparation of copper and the vivid bluish green color of its paint must have formed a striking contrast to the brilliant whiteness of the alabaster when fresh from the quarry. At the present time, large numbers of characters and figures are denuded of their color, and those in which it still remains are much discolored by London fog and soup. The first attempt to describe the contents of the text and scenes on the sarcophagus of Seti I was the late Samuel Sharp, who, with the late Joseph bon bon Bonomi, published the alabaster sarcophagus of Oymenipta I, King of Egypt, in, or in London in 1864. The former was responsible for the letterpress and the latter for the plates of scenes and text. For some reason which it is not easy to understand, Mr. Sharp decided that the hieroglyphic characters which form the pronom pronom Pernomen, which form the pre nomen of the king for whom the sarcophagus was made were to be read. Oi menetta, oi menetta, o i m e n e p t h a h, a result which he obtained by assigning the phonetic value of O to the hieroglyphic sign for Osiris. The pronomen is sometimes written sh dim, dim three. It's some weird symbols. <coughs> okay. Where to be read set and he gave to the first the from phonetic value of A and to the second the value of O. He next identified Amenetta or Oimenetta with the Amen Amenafeth of Menetho and the Chimapta of Europe. Tostinus saying, hence arises the support to our reading his name, the kings. Oimenetta, passing over Mr. Sharp's further remarks, which assert that the sarcophagus was made in the year BC 135. We must consider briefly the arrangement of the text and scenes upon the insides and outsides of the sarcophagus and its cover. On the upper outside edge of the sarcophagus runs a single line of hieroglyphs, hieroglyphics, which contains speeches, 
supposed to be made to the deceased by the four children of Horus. This line is in two sections, each of which begins at the right hand side of the head and ends at the left hand side of the foot. Below this line of hieroglyphics are five large scenes, each of which is divided into three registers and these are enclosed between two dotted bands which are intended to represent the borders of the valley of the other world. On the inside of the sarcophagus are also five scenes. There is no line of hieroglyphics running along the upper edge of the bottom of the sarcophagus of of the sarcophagus is a finely cut figure of the goddess Nut, and around and about her are texts selected from the Thebe Theban recension of the Book of the Dead. On the inside of the cover is a figure of the goddess Nut with arms outstretched. On the outside of the cover in addition to the texts which record the names and titles of the deceased are described two large scenes, each of which is divided into three registers like those inside and outside the sarcophagus. The line of text on the upper outside edge reads, I am Metha. I am thy son, O Cyrus, O Osiris, King Lord of the two lands, Men Mot Ra, whose world is Mot, whose word is Mot, son of the sun, Seti Mer in Ta, whose word is Mot, and I have come so that I may be among those who protect thee. I make to flourish thy house which shall be doubly established by the command of Ptah, by the command of Ra himself. And that is the speech of Mesta, the speech of Anpu. I am Anpu who dwelleth in or with the funeral chest. He saith, Mother Isis descendant, descendeth bandages for me, Osiris, King Men Mat Ra, whose word is Mat, son of the sun, Seti Merin Ptah, whose word is Mat, from him that worketh against me. The speech of Tematef, I am. Tamateth, I am thy son Horus, I love thee, and I have come to avenge the Osiris upon him that would work his wickedness upon me, and I will set him under thy feet forever, Osiris, king, lord of the two lands, Men Mat Ra, son of the sun, proceeding from his body, loving him, Lord of crowns, or rising, Seti Marin Atah, whose word is mocked before the great God. To be said, Ra liveth, the tortoise dieth. Strong are the members of Osiris, King Men Mot Ra, whose word is mocked for Queb. The Smith guardeth them, Ra liveth the tortoise, the tort torturous death. Ra liveth the tor tor tortoise, tortoise death, and a sound state is he who is in the sarcophagus. In a sound state is he who is in the sarcophagus, that is to say, the son of the sun, Seti Men in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at.
speech of Nut. Nut, the great one of Seb saith Osi oh, Osiris. Osiris, king, lord of the two lands, men, Maat Ra, whose word is Maat, who liveth, who loveth me, I give unto thee purity of the earth and splendor or glory in the heavens, and I give unto thee thy head forever. Speech of Nut, who is over the new boat. This is my son, Osiris, King Men Maat Ra, whose word is Maat. His father Shu loveth him, and his mother Nut loveth him, Osiris, son of Ra, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Maat. Speech of Hap Hoppy, or Happy. I am happy. I have come that I might be among those who protect thee. I bind together for thee thy head, and thy members smiting down for thee thine enemies beneath thee, and I give thee thy head, o Osiris, King Men Mat Ra, whose word is Mahat, son of Ra Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Mahat. Speech of Anpu, the governor of the divine house, I am Apu, the governor of the divine house, O Osiris king, lord of the two lands, men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of the sun, proceeding from his body, the lord of crowns, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at, the Shanu beings go round about thee, and thy members remain uninjured, O Osiris, King Men Maat Ra, whose word is Maat forever. <laughs> Speech of Queb Hesenath I am thy son, I have come that I might be among those who protect thee. I gather together for thee thy bones, and I piece together for thee thy limbs. I bring unto thee thy heart, and I set it upon its seat in thy body. I make to flourish or germinate for thee thy house after thee, O thou who livest forever. To be said, Ra liveth, the tor tortoise dieth. Let, let, let enter the bones of Osiris, king men, Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of the sun, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at. Let them enter into their foundations. Pure is the dead body which is in the earth. And pure are the bones of Osiris, king, men, mast, Ra, whose word is Maha, like Ra, forever. <clears throat> On the bottom of the sarcophagus is a large full-length figure of the goddess Nut, who is depicted in the form of a woman with her arms ready to embrace the body of the king. Her face and the lower parts of the body below the waist are in profile, but she has a front chest, front shoulders, and a front eye. Her feet are represented as if each was a right foot and each only shows the great toe. One breast is only shown. The hair of the goddess is long and falls over her back and shoulders. It is held in position over her forehead by a bandlet. She wears a deep collar or necklace on a closely fitting feather or tunic which extends from her breast to her ankles. And la the latter is supported by two 
shoulder straps, each of which is fastened with a buckle on the shoulder. She has anklets on her legs and bracelets on her waist and armlets on her arms the instructions which are cut above the head and at both sides and under the feet of the goddess contain addresses to the king by the great gods of the sky and extracts from the book of the dead they read Inscription of the bottom of the sarcophagus of said AI. The words of Osiris the king, the lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of Ra, the son. Said a Mar in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at, who saith, O oh, thou goddess Nut, support thou me for i am thy son destroy thou my defects of immobility together with those who produce them the goddess nut who dwelleth in het henu saith this is my son osiris the king the lord of the two lands men ma'at ra whose word is ma'at the son of ra Proceeding from his body, who loveth him, the Lord of Crowns, Osiris, Seti, Mer, and Ptah. The God said, said, This is my son, Men Ma'at Ra, who loveth me. I have given unto him purity upon earth and glory in heaven. Him the O him the Osiris king, the lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of Ra, the lover of Nut, that is to say, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at before the lords of the Tuat. Words which are to be said, O Osiris, King, Lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of Ra, proceeding from his body, that is to say, Seti Mer and Ptah, whose word is Ma'at, thy mother Nut putteth forth her two hands and arms over thee, Osiris, King, Lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, son of Ra. Whom he loveth, Lord of Diademus, no, Diamidus, Diamidon, Diadems, Lord of Diadems, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at, thy mother Nut hath added the magical powers which are thine, and thou art in her arms, and thou shalt never die. Lifted up and driven away are the calamities which were to thee, and that they shall never more come to thee, and shall never draw nigh unto thee, Osiris, King, the Lord of the two lands, men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at. Horus hath taken up his stand behind thee, Osiris, son of Ra, lord of Diadems, Seti, Ner, and Ptah, whose word is Ma'at. For thy mother Nut hath come unto thee, she hath purified or washed thee, she hath united herself to thee. She has supplied thee as a god, and thou art alive and stabilized among the gods. The great goddess Nut saith, I have endowed him with a soul, I have endowed him with a spirit, and I have given him power in the body of his mother, Tefnut. I who was never brought forth, I have come, and I have united myself to Osiris, the king, the lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word, word, whose word is Ma'at, the son of Ra, the lord of Diadem.
diadems, Seti Mer and Ptah, whose word is Mahat, with life, stability, and power. He shall not die. I am nut of the mighty heart, and I took on my being in the body of my mother, Tefnut, in my name of Nut, over my mother, none hath gained the mastery. I have filled every place with my bene beneficence, and I have led captive the whole earth. I have led captive the south and the north, and I have gathered together the things which are into my arms of vivify, no, to vivify Osiris, the king, the lord of the two lands, and Ma'at Ra, the son of the sun, proceeding from his body, the lover of Sekur, the lord of the Adims, the governor whose heart is glad, Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at, his soul shall live forever. Nut saith Osiris, the king, men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, wise thou me up, I am thy son, set thou free him whose heart is at rest from that which maketh it to be still. Osiris, the king, the lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of the sun, loving him, Seti Mer in Ptah, saith the chapter of the coming forth by the day of making a way through Amahet, saith Osiris, the king of the Lord of the two lands, Men Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of the sun, proceeding from his body, loving him, the Lord of Kermit, Seti, Mark, and Ptah, whose word is Ma'at. Homage to you, O ye Lord, lords of Ma'at, who are free from inequity, who exists and lives forever into the double empty period of ever Everlastingness, men, Ma'at Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the son of the sun, proceeding from his body, loving him, the Lord of the Adams, said he, Mar, and Ptah, whose word is Ma'at. Before you have, have come a coup, a spirit, and in his attributes, he has gained the mastery through his words of power that he is laden with his wonder, O oh, deliver ye the Osiris, the king, the lord of two lands, men of God, whose word is Muhammad, the son of the son, the lord of the Adams, Seti, Mark, and Ptah, whose word is Muhammad. From the crocodile of this pool of be granted unto him broad and in us in your presence. Because I know you and I know you and I know you. I know you this great God unto the Jews not to be put in the offerings of the church 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 of the Loving him and the Lord of Diadems, 
Seti Mar in Ptah, whose word is Maha, because my bread is in the city of Pe, and my ale is in the city of Pe, and my arms are united in the divine house which my father hath given unto me. He hath stabilized for for me a house in the high place of the lands, and there are wheat and barley therein, the quantity which is unknown. The son of my body acteth for me there as her head. I grant ye unto me sepul sepulchral offerings, that is to say, incense and Then 
lot my soul be brought unto me from wheresoever it may be, for thou shalt find the eye of Horus standing by me like those watchful gods. If it lie down, let it lie down in Anu Helio, Heliopolis, the land where souls are joined to their bodies in thousands. Let my soul be brought unto me from wheresoever it may be. Make thou strong, O guardian of sky and earth, this my soul. If it would tarry, do thou cause its soul to see its body, and thou shalt find the eye of Horus standing by thee, even as do those gods who watch. Tell ye gods who tow along the boat of the Lord of millions of years, who bring it into the upper regions of the Tuat, who make it to pass over night, and who make the soul to enter into its sahu, i.e. spiritual body. Let your hands be full of weapons, and grasp them, and make them sharp, and hold chains in readiness to destroy the serpent enemy. Let the boat rejoice, and let the great God pass on his peace, and behold, grant ye that the soul of Osiris, King Men Mahat Ra, whose word is Mahat, may emerge from the thighs of Nut on the eastern horizon of heaven forever and forever. Osiris the king, the lord of the two lands, Men Mahat Ra, Sitep in Ra, whose word is Mahat, the son of Ra, loving Pa Sekri, the lord of Theodems, Seti Mer in Pa, whose word is Mahat, saith, O ye, Shanu brings, no, Shanu beams, go ye round behind me, and let not be my members be without strength. Osiris, the king of, no, the king, Osiris, the king, the lord of the two lands, men Mahat Ra, Ah Ra, whose word is Mahat, the son of the sun, proceeding from his body, loving him, Lord of diadems, Seti Mer in Ptah, saith, O Nut, lift thou me up, I am thy son. Do away from me that which maketh me be without motion. Nut saith, O Osiris the king, the lord of the two lands, named Ma'at-Ra. Ah-Ra, whose word is Ma'at, the soul, or the sun, proceeding from its body, loving him, the lord or diadems, set a word in Ptah, whose word is Ma'at. I have given thee thy head to be on thy body and all the members of him that is Seti Mer in Ptah, whose word is Mahat, shall never lack strength. On the outside of the cover, beneath the two scenes, the text which occupied the upper part of it was a horizontal line of hieroglyphics which contained two short speeches, the one by the goddess Nud and the other by Toph. The speech of Nud is is a duplicate of the opening lines of that found on the bottom of the sarcophagus. The speech of Toph is much mutilated and can have contained little except the promise to be with the king with a repetition of the royal name and titles. On the inside of the cover or text, many portions of which are identical as we see from the fragments which remain with the chapters from the Book of the Dead which are found on the bottom of the sarcophagus. 
and which have been transcribed above. At each side of the figure of the winged goddess which was cut on the breast was a figure of the god Toth who is seen holding a staff surmounted by the symbol of night. When the cover was complete there were probably four such figures upon it and the text which accompanied them were no doubt identical with those found in chapter XLXI of the Book of Dead. The scenes and inscriptions which cover the inside and outside of the sarcophagus are described and transcribed in the following chapters.